Hi, I'm Stuart from VMAX Scar in Mosey, and this is a quick video about superchargers. Um, let's have a look at what is behind me. So this is the supercharger kit that I make for minis and MGBs. There's one on a mini with some bike carbs. Here's one on an MGB. This is based around the M45 Eaton supercharger, which comes in different configurations. I've got three different types here. First one on the left is a M45 used on the Mini R53 supercharged car. Uh, one in the middle is off a Mercedes CLK or SLK. And again, the one on the end, Mercedes CLK or SLK. So all three of these are the same internal size, and that is 450 cc's per revolution uh, of air that will be pumped, because these are air pumps. Um, you can change the pulley ratios. You can see the red one on the end's got a smaller alloy pulley to increase the speed of the rotors. These are some rotors, uh, so, this one is the earlier type coating, the grey coating, and black one is the later type. Uh, they're both abradable coatings, so they wear on these edges to match the casing. Uh, they can be driven by a coupling on the end. You can see there's a plastic coupling there and three prongs on the nose unit. or they can be sprung driven from a spring that fits in that recess there and that recess there. You see this has got quite fine teeth on the gears connecting the two rotors and these are quite coarse. There's various differences with uh, internal shapes and sizes for the inlet port and the exhaust port, but basically uh, these are, as you can see from my logo, uh, three pronged rotors and they turn and move the air around the outside and obviously evacuate the air as the tips come together like that. So air gets drawn in at one side, you can see with this one with the carb, air goes in through the carb, through the rotors and out and it doesn't go directly down in the center of the exhaust or exhaust port of the supercharger because the rotors are twisted so it actually draws air in but also pulls it along to the the front of the supercharger which I'll show you in a minute. So as I've turned this supercharger over you can see the inlet port is here and the rotors turn and the air comes out mainly at idle around this point but at full throttle the air is actually coming out in this direction uh, in this larger section of the supercharger so it doesn't come directly through it will come this point at very low rpm but this point at very high rpm and it actually directs out of the supercharger at uh, about 45 degrees out this way So this is a quick mock-up, oh, I've just got this clamp to the mill. This is a rotor housing and this is roughly the inlet port shape. So the air would be coming in here and as the rotor turns, the air is captured in this area between the case and the rotors and it's moved round to the bottom of the supercharger to the outlet. So I've just turned this upside down. So this is a rough mock-up of the exhaust port. So as the rotors come together, they evacuate the air and it's pushed one way first and then the next. And obviously it's in a pulse between this one um, being evacuated and then the next rotor edge coming around and pushing the next volume of air out. 
so it does produce a pulse rather than a constant flow of air like say a turbocharger would. So what are these superchargers useful for? They are suitable for about uh, 70 or 80 brake horsepower up to about 170. Um, below that you should really use a smaller supercharger like the Eaton M24. Uh, above that a larger supercharger like the M62. Um, just to confuse matters, these are normally known as M65s, uh, these are M45s, but these all have the same rotor pack. They will share the same rotor pack in size and volume. Uh, so they're one of the considerations with the supercharger manifold I make for the Mini is because the air comes through at an angle, about 45 degrees, you want to separate the air quite early on for each port and then direct it and round to the port with minimal restriction. Uh, there's other manifolds on the market which are supposedly equal length runners, but of course, because most of the air comes out this side, it's, it's never gonna be an equal point. Like I say, at idle, it's normally around here that the air comes out, but at high um, rotor speeds, it generally pushes the air out at about 45 degrees in that direction because it's coming in an inlet port over here. So this type of manifold that I've made directs the air, splits it into each port. You can see it a bit clearly on, or a bit more clearly on the CNC manifold. This section here is uh, for water cooling, it just runs a water track through with a separate water pump and radiator to keep everything cool because on the A and the B series engines, obviously the exhaust is right below this. So it's to re reduce heat soak and also take some of the heat away from uh, the air that's been compressed that's traveling down the inlet manifold. That is about the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching.